this is going to be a really short, quick video, but I wanted to record a follow-up to my video about baking normal maps, uh, specifically for fixing normal maps in Substance Painter. So when I baked the normal maps in Substance Painter, I mentioned that if you get any errors, you can just fix it in Photoshop. However, I'd like to explain how you can fix it in Substance Painter if you want to just stay within one app. So if you haven't already watched the tutorial about baking normal maps, I would check that out first because this picks up where that left off. Um, so yeah, I'll just get started. Once you bake your normal map as a mesh map, it will show up over here in your texture set settings. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, you'll notice there are some artifacts, so specifically around the bottom here that I want to fix. And then I believe there's a little bit down here that I'd like to fix as well. So what I'm going to do is remove it from the mesh map section just by clicking on the X and I'm going to go into my asset browser and drag it in here instead uh, and I'm going to set it as a normal map. Um, next I'm going to set the tiling to 1 and the offset to 0 just so um, it appears right in the center where it's supposed to be. And you don't actually have to move your normal map from your mesh maps into your layers. Um, I just like to because it gives me more control over uh, where it exists in the stack. So what goes on top of it, what goes below it, that sort of thing. Um, I can also control the opacity and use masking on it if it's down here, whereas I can't do that up here in mesh maps. Uh, I'm also going to put this in a little folder just to stay organized. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my preview from material to normal. And as you can see, now we can see all the normal maps and it's a lot easier to see uh, where there are issues with like seams and stuff just because sometimes that'll happen um, with bakes if your UVs aren't perfect. Um, so now that we can see it, I'm going to create a paint layer over here. Uh, normally, I like to work uh, almost exclusively with fill layers just because it kind of lets you edit all of the colors at once. Um, but for normal maps, um, since there's such a variation in what the different colors do, what they mean, uh, what direction they indicate your normals are supposed to face, I like to use um, the paint layer because you can have multiple colors on the same layer. You'll notice if I start to paint our normals, um, it doesn't override the existing stuff. And that's because if we switch over here in our layers from base color to normal, you can see that the blending mode is normal map detail combine or normal map detail. So what we would just want to do is just change it to normal. And now when we paint on top, it will start to override slowly but surely. It's maybe a little bit more obvious if I uh, change this to something pink and up the stroke opacity, but you can see it's now overriding, which is exactly what we want. And this will make it easy to just quickly use the eyedropper tool, color pick stuff, and paint over and fix up any weird scenes on our normals, like down here. Like stuff like that. Obviously do a better job than this, but yep, now you know how to fix it. Hope this helped. Hey there, it's uh, me from the future with worse mic quality. Uh, I also wanted to clarify really quickly um, how you check to make sure that uh, your normals are looking good is you can simply just switch back from normal to your material and see all of the lighting reflections and all that good stuff on your object to make sure everything looks okay.